Let's talk about Intel. Um, I'll kick this off because I was in the room. Um, you know, Intel, you know, had a big moment. This next Core Ultra launch, Lunar Lake. This is the newest node. It's their their kind of this is their kind of breakthrough product that really made them competitive in AIPC. They'll talk about the 20 million meteor lake unit shift, but that that part in terms of like the NPU and the competitiveness of the part was somewhat subdued but it was the first in the market. So it's kind of one of those things where I kind of always say there's a left and a right to the story. The left is they did ship 20 million. It wasn't the highest volume AIPC in the market, but from a competitiveness standpoint, it really didn't meet. It certainly didn't meet the Microsoft Copilot plus PC metrics that were required, but that's all been done now. Those sins are in the past. And now officially um, Intel was able to parade the executives from every major OEM onto the stage to reaffirm their commitment to a design heavy, volume heavy cycle with this new Lunar Lake chip. And then of course, Pavan Davaluri from Microsoft came on stage to confirm that this will be an official Copilot Plus uh, PC uh, announced at IFA. This was a good moment for Intel during a really bad time. And I won't um, dig into the rest of the bad time here because that's a whole nother topic <laughs> that we're gonna talk about here in a few minutes. But um, Pat, you know, they talked about a 20 hour battery life. I mean, this was a, listen, I'm gonna say this, Signal 65 has done some work, uh, our firm, yours and my beautiful baby, Signal 65, that tests the performance on this. Uh, we did some work on the matrix of compatibility. You actually saw that flashed up on the stage in the presentation, that their compatibility across AI workloads and software was pretty impressive. The 20 hour pod, the 20 hour life, I'm, I wanna see it, I, I know, I would hope Intel in this particular moment in time would be really highly scrutinizing of any claim like this they make, because if they're wrong, they're going to get absolutely crushed. For making yeah. that claim. I'm, hope, I'm, you know, I'm hoping it's right because from a competitive standpoint, that's great. You know, making big progress, x86 becomes more viable to be able to deliver that kind of performance, low power. Um, that was the biggest thing that I got out of out of like was that number, that metrics. That metric, of course, they have a really strong gaming story right now. They've been able to really lean into the gaming story, the GPU story, um, which again is part of it. I know we love talking MPU, but GPUs really matter with AI, especially if you can have that with the low low power. Um, and this AI hub, this performance thing that uh, that they're doing for being able to do LLMs, do graphics, and do code, I thought that was pretty cool too. Like that was kind of my first uh, seeing it in real time, seeing it perform, um, and so. It was a really positive announcement, Pat. And by the way, I kind of talked about the parade, but I mean, you had Dell, you had Lenovo, you had Microsoft, you had, um, I think it was uh, Microsoft, Dell, HP, Alex Cho, who we ran into, and several others. Also Google, which by the way, Google came on and, and, and for Intel, I don't think Google showed up this week with Qualcomm, which was interesting as well. So among all the chaos at Intel, um, there's still still a lot of proof points to be made. There's still volume proof to be made. There's still execution that has to be done. Intel's under much greater scrutiny than anyone else, but it was a positive moment. Dan, that was a great uh, breakdown. You know, I did get a little bit of FOMO um, watching you. It, was in these, there. Right? It, was, it wasn't the actual announcements because you were watching them. It was just all the selfies. You couldn't be in with me. I missed yeah, you. I, yeah, the, not being in those selfies is, uh, is, is a big hit. <laughs> Uh, so listen, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You did good macro. I'm gonna do a little bit more uh, micro here. Uh, Lunar Lake uh, has exceptional single-threaded uh, CPU performance. Uh, part of that is the um, newly architected cores that they have. Uh, these are single-threaded and not uh, multi-threaded. They're very, very efficient. So. Kudos to the team uh, for that. Uh, there's embedded memory, which is going to give you a pop as well, because you can more tightly couple the, the system to the memory. Apple did it, and Intel's uh, doing it here. Uh, I'm expecting the best graphics performance in this, uh, this class of processors, and you can either take that to gaming or you can take that to uh, AI. Uh, less efficient AI than the NPU, but much more efficient AI than the CPU. You get 100% app compatibility uh, as well. Uh, Microsoft, Qualcomm, and ARM have done a stellar job uh, getting ARM uh, native uh, compatibility 
uh, out there. And there are roadmaps for the more difficult ones that hit like the dot sys uh, that aren't just a loader issue, um, but need require native and you can't do them emulated uh, like uh, VPNs uh, and um, um, basically malware detection, stuff like that. If, and a big if, this is the key part here, Danny, you hit this. If the battery life claims are bore out across different use cases, this is a very good thing for Intel. Uh, and I will be impressed and I will be surprised that once we get these into our Signal 65 labs that, that this uh, bears it out. And then here was the claim. 20 hours uh, on Intel versus 18 on Qualcomm and 10 on AMD using Procyon productivity, which is independent uh, uh, third party. I, I just want to see it myself. I want to see exactly the conditions that AMD and Qualcomm uh, were tested. Now, we'll see. Here, here, here is where Lunar Lake will get beaten. It will get beaten on most multi-threaded applications because of, of core count. It's very simple. Uh, even if Intel has more efficient cores on ST, you throw more cores at it. Uh, eight cores on Lunar Lake versus 12, 12 and 10 cores. I, I with 100% degree of certainty, will tell you that on uh, MT CPU scores, uh, Qualcomm with 12 cores will beat Intel uh, well, with eight. Uh, Windows AI in November, Copilot Plus ready. You know, we've had, um, there's a lot of historical examples of being ready. You know, there was Windows 8 ready, there was Windows 7 ready, right? And now there's Copilot Plus ready. I don't know if that's exactly what we're going to see on the sticker, but it's the way it's going to be positioned and having uh, Pavin up on, on stage from Microsoft talking through this uh, almost just makes that go away. Hey, that's great uh, dive. That's why uh, perplexity tells the world that you're smarter at the deep dives and I'm the, I'm the, I'm the high level macro guy. That's why we're so good together. We should get married. We really should, Dan. We yeah. really should. And I think, uh, I mean, we have two beautiful children, the 6.5 and... and, and <laughs> oh, that's so good. I was not expecting that. That's really good. But I, I don't know. We also brought our... We have our, our, our children from our previous marriages, a future uh, group, and more more, <laughs> and more insights. But anyways, um, that, was a, that was a good dive, man. Listen, one quick question for you while I change the topic. What's at stake, in your opinion, if that battery life thing backfires? Like, because, I mean, again, you know, you mentioned third party... Like, that's the thing I keep raising my hand is like, what's at stake here? Because it seems like it was so bold. I mean, they lose credibility in a, in a time that they've lost a lot of credibility. You know, yeah. I, I am comforted by the fact that they use the Procyon benchmark, which is hard to game. But in until I see it, it's hard, you know, it's, it's going to be hard. And then there's the you know, with the Qualcomm uh, laptops, I can close that thing, stick it in a drawer for like two weeks and bring it out. And maybe the leakage was like 5%. It's amazing. Crazy. It's amazing. Uh, heck, I, I had a, I had an app, I had a Mac, uh, ARM-based Mac sitting in a drawer for a year. I opened that thing up at 30% battery life. You know, I have never, ever had an X86 laptop that, uh, that, that did that. 